Good evening, everyone. Unfortunately, we start off with some sad news from the Indian Hills basketball program as they lost a member of their family. Michael Haynes, who played for the team last year, was fatally shot Thursday evening in Chicago as he was trying to break up a fight over a stolen necklace when he was shot multiple times. One of his Indian Hills coaches says he was more than just an impact on the court. Off the floor, he was such a good teammate for our guys that, um, you know, made it, you know, that's probably the most difficult thing right now for our guys is the fact that, you know, he'll be missed off the court more than anything. Next season, he was going to play Division I basketball at, at Iona College in New York. But it wasn't all bad news for the basketball program today as they welcomed back star Pete Michael as he was, as he was introduced into the Hall of Fame. And, in his sophomore season, he was first team All-American in 1998 and the National Player of the Year and the MVP of the National Tournament. But his most memorable year was his freshman season. I just knelt down on my, on my knee and started crying because the success, the success, how hard it was being a freshman to start on a team like this and to go to Hutch, a new experience for me, and to really, really, really just play well. They won back-to-back -back national championships in 97 and 98. Well, yesterday afternoon, Davis County's bid to defend their baseball state championship fell short as they lost in the state semifinals. Despite the Mustangs' loss, their coach says their team has learned more than just baseball throughout the season. Uh, not only are they, you know, competitors on the, on the field, but they're very good friends off the field. Uh, they hang out a lot. Um, and. Another good thing that this group has is we've got good, uh, good leadership throughout the ball club. The Mustangs finished their season at 42-2. and two.